This is something that's become new in my awareness and education in the last year, actually the last 12 months. I never really had a knowledge about what red light would do for people. I also didn't really have a vast respect for the damage and genetic alterations to our DNA that is also created by a different color of light called blue light. And that blue light is emitted by every smart device we have. So cell phones emit blue light, laptops, televisions, smart TVs, LED lights, all of them produce blue lights, all of which can be with radio frequencies enhanced remotely without your knowledge. It's actually published. Go look at any LED light bulb in a store, turn around the packaging and you will see it says FCC. There'll be an FCC statement about the fact that you are holding a device with a radio antenna that, that can be connected via remotely through radio frequencies. Well, why would you need your LED light bulbs remotely activated by radio frequencies. It's because they can turn on the amount of blue light they want, diminish it at periods that they want, and they can actually create illness, sickness, and death with blue light tech. So they can increase from your cell phone how much blue light exposure you have. And there's a night mode or nightshade mode. You can go onto all of your cell phones and turn on the blue light filter. So that's important. You want to get rid of blue light. This is in respect to the red light topic we're going to talk about. But all your cell phones, smart tablets, LED lights. In fact, if y'all aren't aware, one of the technologies we presented at the Healing for the Ages conference, which Dr. Ed Group did the entire presentation about, included 5G radiation, Wi-Fi radiation, sorry, smart dust tech, which is nanotech developed and owned by MIT, and another nanotechnology known as quantum dots. And these are as small as dust particles that get into our body and they know blue light activates it, 5G can activate it. And the thing about red light, red light can turn it off and disrupt the electrical frequencies of blue light. Light is just air frequencies moving through the air. Those wavelengths of light can actually be neutralized with red light. So red light, in order to start educating people on what red light therapy does. Some of you may already be familiar and have seen these helmets people will wear for alopecia when they've lost their hair. And they have these like, they have like 300 little lights inside the helmet. You put it on, just like a cap, you put it on your head and all it's doing is sending red light into your hair follicles. Red light increases blood flow to the capillaries in your skin, which is where your hair follicles are. And there are a lot of people who wear these red light helmets to restore hair growth. Unfortunately, a lot of those people are also told if you don't use it every single day, your hair will start falling out again. So I have not seen that to be true as long as people are taking minerals that support the thyroid's function required by hair follicles to, you know, receive blood flow and nutrients. As long as you're taking a healthy multivitamin, eating an organic diet, you're doing the red light, anybody not doing it for a few days never does their hair fall out. So that is a, a misnomer. All right, so for those of you who are interested in learning more about red light technology, I will refer to you immediately to the expert himself. His name was John Harvey Kellogg. He also happens to be the brother of the Kellogg cereal guy. So you got your Kellogg cereals that were poisoning people. Then you had his brother, John Harvey Kellogg, who had the largest all-natural healing hospital in the world in Michigan between 1880 and 1920. And in 1905, he published a book about his red light saunas he had developed and the actual red light bulbs he had designed with a specific filament winding with red stained glass that in 1905 said in the book Light Therapeutics. He wrote a book called Light Therapeutics. You can still purchase publications of this. I have a uh, paperback uh, version of it today. It's actual print copyright is 1905. In 1905, he writes in the book, that red light therapy has been able to neutralize snake venom in a human body. Well, that's pretty exciting for me in the COVID-19 pandemic. So to neutralize venoms is a great deal and uh, very exciting. Uh, also, it is published in there that in 1905, he was able to reverse diabetes, cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, and almost every autoimmune disease, including lupus. And he names them. I reversed lupus in 1905 using red light saunas. Okay, so that is the best best information you're going to find is learning from John Harvey Kellogg himself. His book, Light Therapeutics, can be purchased online. Uh, Companies have actually repurchased his original. 1905 is the date. It is an incredible compilation of truth and nuggets on how to use red light therapy. It also goes into all the spectrums of light. Uh, 